Telltale is no stranger when it comes to games with a narrative story. Games like The Walking Dead, Batman, and Tales from the Borderlands are example of story-rich games. But out of all the games they put out, The Wolf Among Us happens to be my favorite game of all time. Before I start this review, there are some gameplay spoilers. You have been warned. The game was based on a comic book series called Fables by Bill Willingham from 2002. Then Telltale adapted the comics into an episode video game known today as The Wolf Among Us. It depicts a community of fairy tale characters, also known as Fable Town, who were forced to live in the real world of New York after the adversary took over their homelands. The Fables were exiled out of their homes and their terrific lives, and certain fables have to have a glamour spell to hide their true selves from the mundane world. If they don't get the glamour, they ought to be sent to the farm. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? This game is a direct prequel to the comics, so you don't really have to read them in order to understand the story and know the characters. Yep. Our main protagonist is Sheriff Big B Wolf, formerly the Big Bad Wolf, who saves a prostitute from an assault by the woodsman. Bigby later finds her head on the doorstep of the Woodland Luxury Apartments. Bigby and his partner, Snow White, Boss. are willing to solve the mystery of the prostitute's murder before danger becomes too great for the community. This is a murder case. Like most Telltale games, there are dialogue trees that will determine how you interact with people. You could be a nice guy and play it cool, all neutral which is sort of middle ground, or the one that everyone fears most, the big bad wolf. There's also quick time events, which makes the action sequences intense and impactful, especially seeing Bigby Wolf in different forms, which is by far my favorite part of the whole game. When you are not in either one of those, there's a point and click interface which you can look for clues and or items that could be useful in later parts of the game. You'll be greeted with the result screen at the end of each episode, which indicates how many players made the same choice as you. Unlike the other games, there's also Book of Fables, which can be unlocked if you make a certain dialogue choice or an item examination. There are basically infos on certain character, item, or environment to give out in full details. The graphics are outstanding, very artsy, and really reminds you of the comics. I do have a couple of complaints though, I just wish that it didn't suffer from not so good loading times. Also in the PS4 version, there are some occasional pauses. In the end, The Wolf Among Us is a fantastic game with a great mature plot, awesome characters, and Big B's formations are so cool you don't want to look away. If you are into story rich games, buy it. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to track down the comics.